Now, this Arctic blast could last into next week, making this an historic stretch of cold weather in Colorado. CBS4 meteorologist Chris Spears finds out what this storm means for the rest of our winter. We had a wind gust, 37 miles an hour. CBS4 weather watcher Pete Richards is recording history at his weather station. Winter came in like a lion. I've never seen anything like it before. And um, when I sent in the weather report at 4, it was 51 degrees below what it was the previous day on Sunday. Wow, 51 degrees. <laughs> 51, That's amazing. it is. And the wind whipped up. Weather watcher Linda Evans was also amazed by the storm. In her 35 years of watching Colorado skies, she says she's never seen anything like it so early in the season. And then it just suddenly clouded over, and by the time I got home, it had dropped probably 20, 30 degrees just in the hour that I was gone. Amateur weather watchers are not the only ones geeking out about this Arctic blast. By any stretch of imagination, this is a very impressive piece of uh, cold air that's coming in. Klaus Volter is a climatologist at NOAA. He showed me models that keep cold air streaming into the lower 48 for the next week and a jet stream that's bringing much needed moisture to California. That to me, that's like a winter lover's uh, dream. We're cool, we're active in the short term, meaning maybe the next 10 days or so. But looking beyond that... We might be in for what I would call a tug of war between tropical air masses trying to make it in from the Pacific, dumping a lot of moisture in the mountains, especially the southern mountains, and at the same time, uh, the cold air trying to come back in all the time. Volter says it's too early to tell how the rest of winter will play out, but Linda Evans thinks she knows how it will go. Well, I'm not a weather person, but based on the, all the water that we've had this, this summer, I'm guessing that we are going to get dumped on for snow. Chris Spears, CBS4 News.